to you. A big thank you for keeping it away in the morning today. Welcome to another special segment of Hello Day with me, Shiko Kaitani. I am taking over for Mr. Barry Moses and of course my lovely co-host Hilda Wadidi. That SMS number Kabakawa is 22162. Please begin your text with the words YM254. If you prefer to catch up with us on social media, we are YM254 TV on Instagram as well as Facebook, not to mention Y254 channel on Twitter. All right, um, I want to say a big thank you to um, uh, Edu, who is in Eldoret. Uh, thank you so much. He says, good morning, YM254. Big up. I'm absolutely loving the show. Thank you so much. Also, we do have Salma from Mombasa who says, I like your host, Akoju Tusana. Well, well I, <laughs> I believe that goes out to Hilda. Thank you so much. She does appreciate it. And uh, you are placing in your request for Otile Brown. Okay, we'll see what we can do about that. Of course, uh, as we begin this segment, we do want to send out our heartfelt condolences to the people of South Africa following uh, the passing of Winnie Mandela, who uh, succumbed to a very long illness uh, beginning from last year, and she passed on at that ripe, ripe age of 81. So uh, we do uh, wish that... Um, you know, you can send in those text messages. What do you have to say? What did you love most about this fantastic, phenomenal woman? And of course, if you would like to send some shout outs to uh, our family, we do appreciate it. Now, uh, that being said, in just a moment, we're going to be bringing you a feature on the CEO of CB Printers, known as Shadrach Oketch, who will be telling us what it takes to be an entrepreneur and, of course, what his business is all about. Be sure to keep it Y in the morning for that. For now, though, it's all about discussing what it takes to have an entrepreneurial mind. Now, the big question here is, does it come to you naturally or is it something that you acquire? Well, joining me on set today to discuss this is Ram Aguko, who is a journalist and motivational speaker. We also do have Abdul Razak Inguta, who is a motivational blogger and journalist. Karibuni sana, gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to have you because I know this is going to be one heck of a discussion. Tell us about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so guys, mind of an entrepreneur, yeah. born with it or acquired? I, I don't know. Abdul, let's start with you. It is acquired. 100%. 100% acquired. Yep. Mm. One of the misconceptions that people have about entrepreneurship is you, you see people success, successful in their business and you mm. think they were born with it. You see someone who's young and is an entrepreneur and you're like, how did he make it mm. to be an entrepreneur? Mm. And all people uh, will just say, they're born with this skill, but no, it's not born yeah. with you. You're not born with it, rather. Mm. Instead, you learn it. You either learn it or don't learn it. You make it in business or don't make it business. Okay. Ram, tell me, why do you think young people find it so hard to get started in business? Do you think uh, it's an attitude thing, first of all? It's not an attitude thing. Mm. You are not, you, do, you don't acquire it. Mm. You, it has to be in your genes. You see, there are people yeah. who, when they, the, the first day they get their hands on money, mm. they will do magic with it. They just multiply. They just, wow, <laughs> multiply. <laughs> it's like the, if you give some people money, a yeah. business, you You're are sure. Like superstitious to me. No, I'm not I want to throw something here, guys, because I want to build on what Ram is saying. Yeah. What do you have to say about individuals, let's say like Jenga Karome? <laughs> Didn't go to school, didn't get a college degree. That's why I'm saying you have to be born with it. Uh, That's it's, why it, 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 it is not about you going to school to learn it. Mm. In as much as w w we can say, or he might say that you have to go to school to learn how to do a business, I would say this. There are many people, how many people have gone to school, graduates of bachelors of commerce, of many business mm. courses, mm. yet have no idea mm. about how to manage a business. You don't just learn mm. how to manage a business. It has to be within you. Mm. I want to mm. come to that statement that you just said. Mm. You see, Robert Kiyosaki in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he says that most people do not make it in business. Mm. Actually, most people don't even start a business because they are trapped in a rat race. Yeah. A race in which they always have to rest with financial responsibility 
responsibilities, running away from loans mm -hmm. and always having to pay bills in time while they have little resources. Mm -hmm. The problem is not that they never learnt it in school because there, is, there are courses like business management, there yeah. are courses like entrepreneurship which has been made compulsory here in Kenya for yeah. every person who is in tertiary mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. Whatever course you're doing, you have to learn entrepreneurship. Yes. The problem is, you know, rich dad, poor dad, he talks about he talks about what our parents don't tell us mm. and what schools don't teach us. Yes. So the difference between the rich dad and mm -hmm. the poor dad mm -hmm. was the lessons that the rich dad instilled in Robert Kiyosaki yeah. and he never got them in school or from his father. So you must learn these things, not in school, but from your own parents. That's the difference between the rich and the poor and the middle class. He mentioned yeah. a book. Okay. I can mention a book of my own. <laughs> I like on that. Uh -huh. I there is a guy who is called actually a professor yes. uh, of entrepreneurial studies at Cleveland's case Western Reserve University yes. mm -hmm. who wrote a book called born entrepreneurs born leaders mm. and in the book they say that in the entrepreneurial genes that are put in people that you don't, ju you don't just uh, get to manage a business because of influence because you learn it but you have to learn you, you, you have to be born with it yeah. they may even determine that genes mm -hmm. may even determine how much money a person will earn Wow, look at in, I like, I like, So there yeah, is born you know, and like born, born leaders. Born leaders. In now other words, your genes affect your, your work life. Yes. Oh. In other words, some people are born to be alpha wolves and the rest will work in the mailroom. Yeah. It's like having C students mm -hmm. employing A students. What is it about that in life, by the way? What, yeah. Why is it always the C students? By the way, Abdul, the C students will always employ always the A Always hire student. the A students. <laughs> Abdul yeah. is my A when, student. When, when <laughs> <laughs> I am your A student, but I'll employ you. <laughs> you see, <laughs> one of the jokes that we always had in school, there yeah. are some Somali schoolmates of mine who used to say, you know, Abdul, you're always waking up early, making sure that you study mm. for exams. Go and work hard, I'll employ you. Yeah. But now, back to what he was saying, I'd like to correct you and actually blow your argument out of the water Try. with yet another mm. book. Born entrepreneur, born leader. There is something he just never understood. Now, Robert... Now, no, uh, T. Hav Eker, mm. in his book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, mm -hmm. he says there is a financial blueprint that is, f that is evolved from how you grow. Mm. You grow with these uh, financial misconceptions from your parents. Things like the rich are greedy, you know, things mm. like uh, men are at the head of the family, so they're mm. going to provide. Mm -hmm. Things like uh, you, you, money is not that important. Things mm -hmm. that you learn from your parents through experiences and through them saying things of that kind and hearing uh, misconceptions from people they get ingrained in your mind and then mm. you grow up and mm. you start thinking it's your DNA that's wrong and there is yeah. nothing like that there is no DNA that has been written anything like entrepreneur 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 inside your blood <laughs> <laughs> what okay. Robert yeah. what uh, T. Hav Eker says yeah. is that this financial blueprint yeah. has four tenets mm -hmm. there is thoughts mm -hmm. and then there is feelings yeah then there is actions and then there is the results okay. but before the thoughts i call it ptfar just mm. to remember it ptfar is the acronym now before the thoughts there is the p for programming your mind gets programmed with all of these misconceptions and then you grow up and then you think i'm never gonna make money because my parents never made money no one has ever been rich in our place yeah that's the misconception so that whatever, born, that's lead, what born, yeah, born leader uh, mm. born entrepreneur born leader is promoting this misconception T. Hav Eker has got these seminars in which he enlightens people about how to make money. And I like it that you said in Born Entrepreneur, Born Leader, mm. that you have uh, a particular amount of money that you'll always be making. Mm. And T. Hav Eker says, when he looks at you, when you talk to him in, a, in just a few minutes, he'll tell you your financial blueprint is destined for you to making a few hundred dollars, a few hundred thousand dollars, yeah. a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And he will correct that through his book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. So there is nothing like born entrepreneur. The, yes. the okay. power okay. to make money yes. does not lie in how many schools you go to. Mm -hmm. The power to make money does not lie in how many books you read. Yeah 
or how many seminars you attend. Mm -hmm. It is not about uh, learning how to do a business or manage a business. Mm -hmm. the, the, the mindset that people should go to school in order to manage a good business, is it, it is a misconception. Mm -hmm. It is a myth, if, 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 if I would put it that way. Yeah. Some people ensure that they go to school because they, are, they, they tell themselves, let me go to school so that I can at least learn how to do this. Yeah, you may learn a few tips, yeah. but it may not be as significant as it would have been okay. with some people mm. who have been born with the genes of mm. entrepreneurial minds. Okay, okay. Let me stop like you there. Let, 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 let me wait, answer wait, that wait, wait, Guys, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> let me ask you, how do, do we actually explain how some communities are actually said to be more successful than others? There are some that are branded as entrepreneurs, and forgive me for saying this, uh, you've got our Asian community, we've got the Somali, Somali. community, mm -hmm. who they are Gikuyu, for example, mm -hmm. and don't Hey, uh, when it comes to biashara, they are tip top, you know. Yeah. But what is that secret then? Is it really that there's something that they pass on generation to generation? No. Uh, are there some books that these people are reading <laughs> that we don't know? I, I, what I'm gonna people. say, what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna proceed you on this one. Yeah. Uh. First, to correct this this misconception, yeah. I did not say you go to schools to learn these things. Mm. Robert Kiyosaki, in his book Rich Dad Poor Dad, said schools will never teach you this thing about entrepreneurship, but about how to manage money, about how to create and maintain your. So you've got to be born with it. You you're not born with it. Mm -hmm. You for us for those who are not lucky to have rich parents, you'll have to learn them. Now back to your question of these communities who are always making money and we see them and are like they're just naturally born entrepreneurs yeah they are not born naturally entrepreneurs mm. if you look at the rich talk about Donald Trump there is a time his business failed tremendously mm. and he just remade his money and built an empire and he's one of the richest people in the world and then you know and he just never thought about oh my money is all gone and that's the end of me yeah and if you look, that's Donald Trump. Let's come to Kenya and look at the rich people that you know about. Mm. Jenga Karumi you mentioned. Mm. If you look at them, they have the same way of thinking. It's called the billionaire mindset. You're not afraid of losing money. You know, money is important where it is important. Yeah. And it is not important where it is not important. Mm -hmm. Now, bi the billionaire mind always knows that I'm going to make money. I will lose money. But I'll remake it because I have the means to make money. Yeah. You make wealth and you learn how to make wealth. If you look at how people spend, mm. uh, you will realize. I wrote about uh, 10 things that eat your money needlessly. Yeah. Yeah. And these things that eat your money needlessly are the things that you don't consider. And the poor will always remain poor because they do not know where money goes, how money goes. It's not about they're, how much money. And they're not money. able to manage exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Briefly, when before, you talk before, before, <laughs> before <laughs> go, before you go, just let me put a point okay. here. It does not matter yeah. what, it does, it does not matter how big the numbers are on yes. your paycheck. All that matters is what that number means. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, Ram. He mentioned many, many, many things that I disagree with. A hundred percent. When we are talking about <laughs> failure. Yeah. Yeah, he mentioned uh, Donald Trump. Uh -huh. At some point, he failed. Let me tell you something here. He did not fail because he, he, he learned failure. Mm. You, you don't learn failure, you experience you it. Experience After you experiencing it. failure, yeah. you learn from it. Mm. But you see, what makes you an entrepreneur is what you do after failing mm. after you, you fail on that business what do you do mm. now people who have been born with that mentality you see the people who, who, who someone said this that you are not born to be poor mm. but if you die poor then it's your fault Yes, Being we born. hear that a lot. Yes. By the yes. way, yes. Yes. Your you, if, if you, you die your poor, fault. If you it die is your poor, fault. It is your fault. Yeah. yeah, that being born poor is not your fault. The point is, the fact that you have been born in a poor background mm. or in a background that lacks does not mean that your mind is born poor. poor. Yes, yeah, so we lock ourselves. It, it's about yeah. your mind, mm. the way you're born. How mm. do you fix your mind? How do you realize that you have a purpose? How do you realize that you have something to do? How do you see yourself in the yeah. future? Yeah. Because you cannot have a, you, you cannot learn mm. to be visionary. You By the way, um, you, you, can, you cannot you can be visionary. Inspired. You can be inspired to be visionary, can't okay. you? Okay, so gentlemen, what I'm feeling here is that there's no right or wrong on each side, right? <laughs> Do, don't you feel that both both your points complement each other? They do mm -hmm. complement each other. Yeah. At some point. Because he, like he's talking about changing something. up your mindset. Yeah. You're talking about 
complement that with you know whatever materials that you I'm need gonna, to get i'm gonna tell yeah. you something that will help us put this into perspective more clearly mm. you see you might be born a visionary and i'll mention one more thing that t have Eka says in the secrets of a millionaire mind yes he says that you know you might be born from a poor family mm -hmm. but and he, he draws in from the apple doesn't fall far away from the from the from the tree yes which means whatever financial blueprint that your parents had is going to apply to you and as a child you will pick from either both of them or one of them so if, if, if you look if you, right exactly yeah. if you look at yourself whose financial blueprint are you picking from is it your father's is it your mother's yeah. are you succeeding or are you not succeeding yeah. and mm -hmm. then he says you when if you're a second born yeah. and your parents are are uh, poor and second born, he says mm. they are naturally rebellious. You will rebel and you will hate their ways and you will want to have your own ways. As a second born, you will think, these guys are poor, I should make money. Mm. But if you have that knowledge uh, that, that you need to make money, you have that ambition, you have the dream, and you want to make money, if you don't have the guidance, you're not going to make it. Okay. It's I not about the mind, it's just about, uh, do you have the guidance or not? Okay, okay. All right. Remember that SMS number is 22162 if you want to contribute to our ongoing discussion. I'm telling you, I'm loving these guys on set today uh, but I'm also going to ask uh, my producer to actually let me know because we've got a motivational video that we're gonna play at the end of this interview so um, director Martin let me know how that goes uh, but even as we're preparing that for you guys I'm gonna ask okay so where do we start as young people um, is it a mental shift and decide okay you know what uh, I don't want to be poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. so what, what are you telling young people? How do we begin? Where, where do you think it starts from? It starts with financial success. Journey. Financial uh, success. Yeah. Uh, I will direct people to read a book called How to Become a Lifelong Financial Success hmm. by, uh, by a financial advisor called uh, Manyara Kirago. Now, going to young people, how do you become rich? People yeah. want to be rich, but actually, T. Hav Eka again in the secrets of the millionaire mind. What he says is, we all want to be rich, yeah. but what we're going to get from wanting to be rich, how to determine if you want to be rich, mm. is if actually you take the step to becoming rich. Yes. People go to school mm -hmm. and they think you're going to get employed and become rich. Yes. yes, you get employed, you get paid, but Robert Kiyosaki says, solving, uh, getting employed mm. and getting your monthly paycheck is solving a short-term problem. And the short-term problem that you're solving, you're solving by getting employed yeah. is you're solving the problem of being broke. But mm. now, how are you going to solve the problem of sustainability? And creating Tihav wealth. Eka, yeah, and create wealth. Create and maintain wealth. Oh. T. Hav Eka says, you are supposed to understand that after you have already solved this little problem of being broke, what do you want to be? Do you want to be comfortable? Mm -hmm. What you want is exactly what you get. He says, the universe will bend backwards to mm -hmm. give you what you want. Mm -hmm. You want to be comfortable in your life? You'll always look at the right-hand side of the menu. Do you know what that got? Mm -hmm. It's got the bills. Not the meals. You look at the bills and you go, oh, oh this is 100 shillings. How much does it cost? Oh, chips masala. Yes, I'm going to have that. And every time you have that, and you cannot go for it. For, you, because you yeah, want to you're be looking at the price first. Yeah. Because you want to be comfortable, yeah. you'll always be looking at the right side. Oh, but okay. if you want to be rich, if you want to be sustainable, you'll always be able to look at the left-hand side because you'll know how to create and, and, um, and make wealth. Now, uh, top 10 money mistakes that uh, Kenyan, Kenyans yeah. make, mm -hmm. that was by Manyara Kirago last year. He was talking about mistakes that Kenyans make. You don't save. You don't invest, you take loans, mm -hmm. you take insurance, mm -hmm. and they're all just bills and bills and bills and bills. Drawing back from rich dad, poor dad, rich dad, poor dad, Robert Kiyosaki says, if you want to be rich, what you have got to do is minimize your expenses. Minimize, you your, minimize expenses. your expenses. I like that. Minimize don't your expenses. Yeah. In capital, bold, 95 red, <laughs> and a nine dollar billboard. <laughs> yes. So minimize your expenses. Briefly, I'll give him a chance to start to talk. So let me finish with this. Wow. Minimize uh, uh, your expenses. Yeah. Waiting for and that. then after you've minimized your expenses, mm. you've got to know where are you? Are you rich? Are you poor? Are you middle class? Rich people don't buy things from their own savings or salaries. What rich people do, if I want to buy a car, I will, I will think about, let me make money to buy the car. Let me not buy it from my savings. Middle class people will say, I've got adequate savings, I can buy a car. You see the difference? Yeah. And poor people will always say, I need a loan. Ah, I like so, it. 
Food uh, for thought. Food uh -huh. for thought. Uh, at some point, I kept quiet because <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's because I've Bec just gone on and on and on and on and on. Not because he went on and on, but because he started making sense. Oh. <laughs> he started saying something that now I would tend to agree with. Okay. Okay. It is, it, it, uh, the mind of failure mm. is always having to spend all the time. Yeah. That is what I agree with. Mm. If you want to end up dying poor, mm -hmm. you ensure that you spend all that you have exactly. all the time the way in a very unplanned way uh -huh. and uh, just th there's a book here that uh, I, I would like to back it up saying b the book is born not made the entrepreneurial pers personality which argues that many entrepreneurs are simply wired in mm -hmm. that way mm -hmm. in the entrepreneurial mind giving them an advantage in the business world but there's a research that was made yeah. that indicates that exposure to ideas exposure to lessons mm -hmm. exposure to content yes. can actually give uh, a, 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 of entrepreneurship can have a lasting effect on people yeah. on students yeah, okay. on uh, anyone whether you're born with a poor mentality or yeah. not yeah. having that exposure mm -hmm. can give you the, the, the the success story yeah. is like saying bad company corrupts good morals mm -hmm. the kind of company that you have the kind of exposure you give yourself to yeah. is the one that will establish whether you will be successful entrepreneurial yeah. or not okay. having the mind that I want to say mm, when I am born in this kind of a society yeah a society that is poor that people just waste money mm -hmm. people have lack mm -hmm. you see the effect that you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. about some communities having uh, 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 very good businesses yes. than others yes. is because of the kind of environment that they are brought up in so their work ethic so is different their work ethic yeah. is, 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 is oriented yeah. in a way that gives them success it's like we are saying when people uh, want for uh, to look for doctors they will go to India mm. because the Indians have uh, uh, influenced themselves mm. in a way that mm. their mindset has mm. been oriented in the line of medicine mm -hmm. therefore if you orient your mind in terms of you expose yourself yes. with the right people the mm -hmm. right company mm -hmm. the right mindset the right content yes. what do you watch what do you listen to where do you go to do you attend seminars who do you spend your time who with? do you spend your time with exactly. yeah. if you spend your time with a madman People will say that we saw two mad men. <laughs> So, I like that, and and, and that's going out to, of course, our yeah. audiences because this is something, especially as young people, we never ever, you know, get that mm -hmm. our the people who surround us influence us. Yeah. Yes. So if you're thinking about, by the way, this is where I want to go. I want to get onto that journey onto creating wealth. I need to check out Just whether I'm yourself. moving with mm -hmm. the same group of people. I'd it's like, like someone I'd someone had mentioned yeah. here yeah. earlier. No, not here. I had someone mention it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the question was 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 uh, put. There's I, I attended a certain forum mm -hmm. and uh, someone asked a question. It was about relationships. Mm -hmm. Someone asked the question yeah. th uh, that can a rich man mm -hmm. marry a poor lady? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we may mythically say it, it happens well in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. But you see, it for happens example, on all Hispanic movies. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then you find yeah. yourself riding a horse, yeah. Alejandro <laughs> carrying you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happily ever after. after. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You see, for example, Uhuru Kenyatta's son. Yes. At no point will he meet a lady staying at a slum somewhere. Really? Because I'm gonna tell you why. They, 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 they don't meet. Yeah. They don't associate with each other. There's a way they don't have the same forum. Mm. They don't sit together. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, sit together with kings, you must go where kings are found. Uh -huh. If you want to be successful in business, yes. you must associate yourself with people who do business wisely that is how kenyans can be able to succeed in their businesses yes. but yes. not to contradict the point mm -hmm. that uh, uh, for you to 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 to, to, to associate yourself with uh, with um, Mm, let's say, uh, how do I put a it? A particular thought or a particular thought, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a particular community. Therefore, you segregate yourself from 
uh, from your community. No, mm. it does not mean that. Mm -hmm. Association is important. Yeah. Just associate yourself. No, what time do I spend doing this and what time do I spend doing that? That wow. is the, the, the key. Okay. I've got something brief to say to it. I, yeah. I'd like to send mm -hmm. everyone to look for uh, an article titled, my article I just wrote, it's online, 10 things that needlessly eat your money. Yes. And you'll realize that we don't, we're not financially conscious mm -hmm. on uh, we're not financially conscious. We're we're actually always on autopilot mode. Yeah. And all this thing of being born leaders or not being born leaders. Uh, Tihav Eka also says about financial blueprints. How we take things from our parents and we just hold on to them. Or not only our parents, but every people, everyone who's around us as we grow up. And we yeah. take them and we just do it and do it and do it and we don't know why. Yeah. He quoted a story about his wife when his wife was always cutting when she's preparing ham. Yeah. She always cuts. She always chops off the the two ends and and cooks it and sh and she was asked why do you do that and she says because my mom used to do that and they called the mom and they says uh, why did what did you always chop the two sides of the ham while preparing it and she says I saw my mom doing it yeah. so they called the grandmother of Tiha Eka's <laughs> wife and they ask her why did you chop the two uh, the two sides of the ham before preparing it and they never knew the reason why and she said because my pants were small so i had to chop them and make it fit <laughs> now i want to i want to answer okay, yeah. a, a very important uh, uh, thing here yeah my excuses yes they're all excuses okay. sty nina says i like this because yes. the table of content actually talks to you i'm going to mention a few things that we've mentioned here okay lack of real quick real quick because uh, we're yeah. running out of time yeah exactly mm -hmm. lack of capital lack of education lack of uh, good opportunities and also marginalization disabilities challenged background and people say uh, my my community has never produced a president. My community has never done anything. So it's okay. all about a mindset, and okay. you have to learn also to read oh, books okay. as well. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay. So real quick, uh, give me two books that you think young people need to start reading, Ram. And of course, Abdullah, I know you've got a plethora. <laughs> 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 Just say two books that you think get, I mean, that any to young person actually needs to go out and look for. And I know you've got also two which are actually by a local author. Maybe you can mention those yep. uh, real quick as we as we wrap up. So how to start a benefic how to start and grow up a beneficial business. My excuses, barriers to dream and success. I'm gonna mention Rich Dad, Poor Dad. My uh, uh, secrets of the millionaire mind, billionaire mindset, the science of getting rich. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me not bore you with many <laughs> words. I will just use two books. Okay. Uh, first is uh, uh, Born, Not Made: The Entrepreneurial Personality. Okay. Uh huh. That is a book. The uh, another one is uh, um, a book that was published in 2010. Born entrepreneurs, born leaders. Mm -hmm. Those two books will actually. Make Make you understand yes. that in as much as you may be born in uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the mindset of yeah. a poor mentality yeah. you have that inbuilt thing that is inside of you every person has been born yeah. to build every person has been bold mm -hmm. uh, has been born to expand yes. so when we are saying that you have to be bo that entrepreneurs are born it actually includes everyone yes. because we are all born with the same mind of growth okay. what matters is how do you use your mind all right thank you so much gentlemen oh my god i absolutely loved you guys coming on set we must do this again no, and i sure hope that this was actually helpful for you uh yet again that is ram aguko a motivational speaker and of course a journalist we also do have abdul razak ingutia who is a motivational blogger and journalist on set you can be sure to catch a rerun of this interview on our y254 tv channel page on youtube sawasa